We're installing really big detention tank for a backyard. 60 feet long. You guys did a really nice job. Look at this beautiful uniform perforations throughout. I'm back at the detention tank site. And this install was perfect. You can see what the yard was like before this tank was in. You see that right there? It looks like there's like an oil spill. That's telling me that water's coming up. There's minerals in the water. Spot on perfect. The grass is grown in that sandy loom, topsoil and sand mix. And the, the little bit of pitch on this tank was perfect. The crew nailed it. This install could not have gone any better. Every time you take a scoop of dirt out, there's that much more capacity for water. So you can see some groundwater in here already. I'm going to show you what we got. So right here, you can see the water is right up to the top. The detention tank is full, pretty much. The water is just a couple inches below the grate. And you can see that this inlet basin was taken in water. Now this one, the water is right up to the bottom of the grate. Right here, you know, the water is almost to the surface. And then the three grates on this end, you can see a little collection of water here. Same thing here, the grate's doing its job, caught a leaf. And right here, it's at the overflow. So this can't take in any more water. So it's running this way. You can see how the grass is laying down. The water's been flowing right through the swale into the neighbor's yard. So this tank was set perfect. Every detention tank that we build with an overflow to one side should be done this way. It's spot on perfect. The slope wasn't too aggressive. We're making the most of the tank. The tank itself is completely full right now. This is the results of Hurricane Barrel that has come up through the US. Now the homeowner can drop a pump right here. We ran conduit for an electric outlet and he could take a discharge line and he could pump water in this big giant open field and there is pitch. And that was the plan from the very beginning. But we just seen several inches of rain in a short amount of time. This whole area used to be a swamp.
And because it's all sand and stone, I'm walking on top of it right now, shooting this. It's, the ground is firm. It's completely solid. It's like walking on concrete. There's no longer a sump pump pit outdoors behind this house. It's a gravity system. We captured all the water, captured the downspout. We have the foundation drain, and then all the yard water, all the runoff that comes from the high ground that ends up in this swaled area because it's a forced walkout. It's all captured in that detention tank. Now that detention tank, that's gonna leach water after this rain event. It'll hold water and it'll just leach it. And then the capacity will come back for the next rainstorm. Here's all the sizes that we used. We have a 24 inch detention tank with a 12 inch riser because of the pump size that we like to use on a tank like this. We have a 10 inch pipe with all the inlets. We run that down to the six inch tie in to this manifold. We filter out all the contamination so that we can protect this detention tank and it's going to stand the test of time. Right here is an indoor sump pump pit outdoors. Never do this. This is something that only hacks do. Do not use a small indoor sump pit outdoors like this. It's such a liability. Another Easter egg. Do not take your foundation drain all the way to the bottom of your detention tank. Keep it as high as you possibly can. Yes, you have to have a little bit of slope. But do not get too deep. If this fills up, you don't want it to back feed into your foundation drain. We have a leaf filter to catch any leaves. We have a catch basin to catch any sediment. We don't want to fill our detention tank with any roof debris. We took every precautionary measure we possibly could. You can see there's a conduit in this trench. We're also running the electric all the way to the far end, 75 feet to the back of the yard. But I couldn't be happier with this install. The crew nailed it and the guys, the guys that deserve a lot of credit here, we had Valente in the trench on the uh, story pole, giving the readings to Francisco in the excavator. And this tank was set at the perfect, perfect height, the elevation. The difference between the tank's height over there and the tank's height over here was spot on. This is found money in my business. When you do work like this, you're going to get referrals and you're going to stay busy. That's why we're always at least three months booked out right here. Beautiful work by the French Dream Man team. Another satisfied customer. We just received four inches of rain. And that's the results. If I come back tomorrow, that tank is going to leach so much water into the subsurface. And the capacity will be coming back again to collect from another rainfall. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding this installation, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.